part of the Press Play Podcast Network. Look up in the sky. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's Superman. This is Jason J. Lewis, the voice of Superman on Justice League Action. This is Mark Wayne, writer of Superman Burgoyne. You're listening to The Krypton Report. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Krypton Report with me, Tyler, the Superman of Blue, the Man of Tomorrow. That's right. Today is going to be another installment of our comic s- cereal section. <clears throat> and that's not the cereals you get from the grocery store. No, 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 no. The movie cereals. We had already talked about the 1948 Kirk Allen Superman. So now it's time to talk about its sequel. By this time, uh, it was two years had passed. We are in the 1950. Adam Man vs. Superman, which is on record as being the most successful uh, sequel film produced. And I would say in a lot of ways this is the more superior of the two. It's another gloomy day here in Ohio with rain. and So I just thought, hey, it's a good time to record and talk to my favorite people, the good listeners of the Krypton Report. So we're going to do this like we did last time where since the serials are so difficult to, to acquire unless you're hunting them out and you either purchase this, purchase them on Amazon or you purchase them through DVD like I did because I want to understand where the characters come from what was superman's journey you know from um uh, you know the first serial film was 10 years after superman first was published and that's, that's I mean that's a big deal I mean even comics today I mean we've seen some characters who get because of creators and the you know the culture time we're in that get created and make their live action debut shortly later that was a big deal for these characters in this time so without further ado we're going to talk about superman vs adam man and one thing i want to point out is superman vs adam man is actually i want to say at least in superman and dc comics the first that's adapted from another medium, um, this story was adapted from the radio show story. And there is differences. I'm kind of in the process of breaking that down because I do own the radio um, series script for Superman vs. – for Adam Man vs. Superman. Um, so it is an interesting kind of watch and listen because it, there are differences even though it is adapted. So. Uh, Adam Man vs. Superman is also our first introduction to a, a live-action Lex Luthor. Though he is not Lex, he is just Luthor. And it's interesting because he is a mad scientist, but there are hints of things to come. <laughs> so sit back and listen, and let's kind of break this down a little bit. Okay, let me pull out the old notebook. The old special Krypton Report notebook. That's right, I have a special notebook here just for Krypton reporting. Adam Van vs. Superman Chapter 1 Superman Flies Again It does give its own intro It has its own kind of credits Title sequence Which is nice uh, that it has its own And one of the In here it says Card number 212 pulls up To at the front of the Daily Planet 212 being the month and day Of my birthday I thought that was pretty funny we meet Luthor the scientist. Clark looks the same. Lois has a new hair dot. She has her hair cut, styled, and colored differently. More Lois of the of the comic, less of the Noel Neal we saw in the previous serial. Now Jimmy enters with no hat. I was very excited that I had a no hat Jimmy because that hat was horrible and then shortly later he puts the hat back on. Um, now in this one, we get a great line because we figured, we learned that Luthor is up for parole and there's the line that Luthor, Superman's arch enemy. And that right there just kind of gives you the idea of, well, there's been stuff that's happened in between, or are we just supposed to fill it in from previous 
knowledge, exposure to, say, their radio shows or any comics. But it's interesting that we get that line not having seen any kind of battle between these two titans. The, close, the, the shots of the bridge being destroyed is actually real footage of a bridge that was destroyed. Um, it was incorporated into the serial. We get the job. This looks like a job for Superman from Lois in a very sarcastic tone. And we get our stock footage of Clark transferring and changing to be Superman and flying out the Daily Planet. And I feel like that footage gets heavily heavily used in this serial. Though we do get our first new shot of Kirk Allen himself flying, the technique that would soon be later used in the Adventure Superman series of just him kind of with wind blowing in a stock uh, formation with his arms stretched out. We get a line from Jimmy that's horrible that uh, today would get him punched. Typical woman driver. Oh, Jim. Superman's able to hold the bridge while it's collapsing, and uh, Superman, <clears throat> he busts in to stop Luthor in prison, but he was wrong. We do get to see an invisible an invisibility coin that teleports one of the thugs away. Superman changes back to Clark, and Lois, <laughs> Superman goes to, as Clark goes to change, and Lois stops him, which is one of my favorite gags, and Clark has to find another way to try to ditch Lois to go and change. So that is the end of Superman Flies Again. Chapter 2. Adam Man Appears. It starts with a truck being grabbed. And the they use the teleporter to sneak the people out of the truck and explode the truck to throw off Superman as he's trying to figure out if Luthor is involved with this attack on the bridge that is using some kind of experimental ray gun or not. We get a longer shot, like a wide shot, of Kirk Allen flying in that new established flying shot, which is the only time it's used and is in this one. The other shot, which was a medium shot, um, does reappear a couple of times throughout the serial. We get a scene that I was I had to applaud at because as I'm watching this with my wife, I make the comment to Jania like, you know, Perry White never leaves his office in this entire serial. And then right then Perry walks out of the office into the other set which is kind of like the Daily Planet newsroom. We see uh, the hallway outside the Daily Planet, and because Clark runs out, and it's a, it's awesome. Um, but meanwhile, on the other side of town, Lois is investigating. Uh, the assignment that Perry had given her and she walks in and it's one of Luthor's thugs and he pushes Lois out the window and Superman flies with Lois to, to save her and that's where it ends as he's going to save Lois but, but we get the shot as he's going to save Lois we get the shot of a cave and the Atom Man appears and he's basically like the head of a robot that's also this huge helmet and all black. Chapter 3. A Blaze in the Sky. Now, we're pretty far into this, and this is the first time, because I, by this time I stopped paying attention to the credits, except two things were pointed out to me by Jania. One, one of Luther's thugs is named Bear, and the actor is Wally West. Two, Kirk Allen is not listed in the credits because they keep keeping the mystique that he is, in fact, Superman. Now, of course, Superman saves Lois. With a silver coin, 
uh, we see Luthor is let out of prison. And on his way out, he's being, you know, surrounded by newspaper reporters, uh, newspaper and television reporters. And Luthor says he's going to invest in a television studio. An attack on Luthor's life happens and Kent actually saves Luthor's life. Luthor states he's going straight. There is an oil fire that happens and we find out there are six hours to get equipment to stop it. Lois lets Clark walk back. Um, Clark goes and pretends he's asleep in the car while the oil f uh, is going on so that he can turn into Superman. Um, we get to see Jimmy as a pilot again. And he's piloting for uh, to help stop the fire. And uh, Clark and Lois are then trying to investigate how the fire started. They run into an Adam Man thug. He pulls a gun, shoots Clark, and this makes Lois suspicious. Clark says, oh, I have one of those coins in my pocket. The bullet stopped it. He reaches in his pocket to get the coin and takes his thumb and pushes it down and makes the indent and shows Lois. He's like, see? That's pretty fun and clever. And that is the last beat of chapter three. When chapter four picks up. Um, Superman meets Adam Man. And, you know, this time I started noticing things. I said, I've been watching this for a while. And Kirk never does the traditional Superman hands on the hips pose which we know was prominent in the Fleischer cartoons. So think about that for a second. Let's, let's pull out our handy dandy, uh, magical device. Okay. You ready? Let's do this. And let's see when the Fleischer cartoons, cause right now it's kind of, leaving my brain, but the first one was in 41. So two years after Superman's comic strip debut and before this. So that imagery was in people's mind of Superman. Even if they didn't read the comic. <clears throat> so it's Lois's birthday and Adam Man sends her a coin and transports her to the cave. And one of the lines that's mentioned about her is, that girl's got spunk. Now, a meteorite lands at the museum, and it's a meteor from Krypton. Superman goes to uh, enter the cave to find Lois, where Adam Man was already there waiting for him. Um, and I notice how Kirk Allen makes very graceful movements as Superman. It's not very commanding. And what we find out is the news to try to draw out Luthor. It's fake K. Um, he, he did it to try to draw Superman out. Or Superman did to try to draw Luthor, the Atom Man. I remember, at this point we don't know that Luthor is the Atom Man. To draw him out and so that Superman could try to find Lois. Um, Superman is put in a machine and he's flicked and he is, um, he disappears. And then Lois just passes out. She's pushed, she put in a car and the car is pushed off the cliff. Dun, dun, dun. And I haven't said it yet, but what do we say at the end of each serial? Come back next week for the next exciting chapter. Of Adam Man vs. Superman in this theater. So chapter 5. Adam Man tricks Superman. Superman arrives to save Lois. How? Because he moved so fast to our eye he was invisible and he tricked them to sneak out. Um, 
He saves Lois in the car, moves her to a safe place, and then Clark shows up and sprays Lois in the face with water to wake her up. And then one of my favorite, favorite scenes happens shortly later as Superman was able to capture one of the thugs. And he took the thug back to the Daily Planet. Not to the police, no. No, no. To the Daily Planet. And they're trying to investigate him. And what happens is Superman tosses the thug out the window, straight in the air, catches him, tosses him up in the air again, catches him, and says, all right, we'll just keep playing ball. And the thug starts spilling the beans. Lois hears, Lois takes off to where she thinks she can meet Adam Man, which is just a barn where her and Jimmy are, and they get knocked out in the barn as the barn is set on fire. And that's the exciting cliffhanger of Chapter 5. I hope you enjoyed this quick, you know, description of the Adam Man vs. Superman first five chapters of the 15 movie serial. Serials are very interesting, and I, I, I want to talk about them. But it is a daunting task for anyone to undertake to watch all those. I highly recommend, if you're interested, check out Digging for Kryptonite. Uh, look through their back catalog for an episode that came out, I believe, in August of 2022 for a more in-depth conversation between me and host Anthony Desiato about the serials. We didn't break them down by this, but we talked about them more in general, and it helps give you an idea of what the serials are and can be. And remember... Look up in the sky. We just want to say, if you've enjoyed this podcast, please check out other podcasts on the Press Play Podcast Network. Remember to check out Krypton Report on all social media platforms. Go to linktree.com slash Krypton Report. you find all of our information right there. And if you want to keep Krypton from exploding, join our $1 a month Patreon. That's right. For $1 a month, you'll get extra special content that you don't get on the main show. Like movie commentaries and whatever else comes out of our mouths. So check it out, patreon.com slash Krypton Report. If you are like Tyler and James and can't get enough super talk, check out these other podcasts. Digging for Kryptonite. Supergirl Radio. The Last Sons of Krypton. The Superboy Legacy Podcast. All-Star Superfans. Superman the Animated Podcast The Aspiring Kryptonians Always Hold On to Smallville Caped Wonder The Geek of Steel And Truth, Justice, and Hope Podcast Hey, we're going to press pause and hear a few words from our other podcasts on Press Play Podcast Network. Hello, Brooks here with the Books with Brooks monthly book club podcast. Here's how Books with Brooks works. We read one book a month and then we talk about it. Classics like Stephen King's The Shining, debut novels like We Are the Brennans by Tracy Lang, and tons of other compelling, life-changing stories, one book and one month at a time. So come read along with us and then listen in. This is Dan Jurgens, and if you want to have a good time, keep listening to the Krypton Report.